How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Little Misfortune. We're here to visit the Look, wolf, Benjamin's wolf. cousin. Yeah. And there's a note. It must say where the fox lives. We need to take it. I can reach it from here. See, Just stick your hand right inside. inside the cage. We've already covered how that's a perfectly acceptable, uh, smart thing for a little lady like yourself to do. Hello. Are you Benjamin's cousin? <laughs> that fluffy fox with the most dearest big blue eyes. No? The wolf has kind of terrifying Benjamin. yellow Who's eyes. That? I'm talking about Benjamin. He's this sweet looking fox that ended up stealing my happiness. I'm not that into him anymore. Maybe you should <laughs> stop talking to him. So quickly spurn inside the cage, Miss Fortune. Uh, all right. I would like to become great friends with this wolf. Ride him off into the sunset. Find my own happiness. Except Benjamin's dead to us. Lupus, also known as the big bad wolf. His favorite We're just wolf. is red hooded little girl. <laughs> That's silly. Remember the missing children? Mm-hmm. Maybe he's behind it all. You think he's eating the Really like the playing the blame no. game, Mr. Voice. You're right. We should call the cops on him. No. We I would love to see the transcript of that phone please. call. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, we took that key, but I'm, I'm pretty sure the key was just for the house. Uh -huh. Oh, shit. It's time to meet the wolf. I kind of didn't think that would work, uh -huh. and it seems like such a terrible idea to walk into the wolf's cage. I'm gonna get eaten. 10,000%. I'm a nice person. I hope the wolf just, like, runs. Just get out of here, wolf. I don't want to get involved. Wolfie, I don't want to get my uh, face uh, eaten uh, off or anything. Let's scare him away. Why can't the little lady go spit the wolf? Oh, terrible idea. Unexpected. Not a little animals. bit. Animals usually run away from me. Oh, That's too bad. When they aren't okay. busy dropping dead around you. I'm gonna take it. I'm also gonna check the far side of the cage to see if there's anything else going on. That wolf's for sure gonna go eat a child or something, right? My evil cousin's address. Fox. Skog Stiggin 15 Open Fields. Hmm, I'm just kind of trying to read. This isn't the same writing as the I stole your eternal happiness signed Benjamin. I feel like that was had like a cursive quality to it. Whereas this is more written with like odd, like the L in evil is uppercase or whatever. And I, but there's not that, there's not really like typos. And I feel like Benjamin's writing had a bunch of typos and stuff. This is a weird in between. Maybe this is uh, Mr. Voice or whoever's framing wising up and realizing that the last letter wasn't as convincing as it could Good. be. Now we can get that stolen happiness back. All right, sweet. There's more positive like graffiti. Love yourself. Fox is by boat from Phantasmagoria. Wait a minute. Are you telling me we are going to Phantasmagoria? It seems that way. <laughs> yes. Please. So excited. I always wanted to go. Yes. <laughs> It's a great day for you. You may have uh, lost your friend and possible lover in Benjamin. You may have lost your eternal happiness. Round of questions questions while we walk. Sure, my question answering skills are all one. Big hurry. Great, great. And as usual, just be honest, and you'll do fine. <laughs> First question. Oh, we're have doing you this ever again. Heard this question before. What? <laughs> this specific question? Have I heard this question that you're asking me right now? No. The question of whether or not you've heard the question? Yes, I have not heard that question before. All right. Second question. Have Maybe that's just a calibrating. Lied to a friend. Oh, I'm sure we have. I do it all the time in school. <laughs> Just Charlie for fun. Still believes my daddy comes and picks me up after school. Okay, I just walk sad. behind the trees and sneak home when she's not watching. That's so sad. If you say so. Now for the last question. I Have hope she doesn't get caught. Someone die. I believe we've only seen dead people. I don't think we've seen anyone die. Other than in ninja movies? No. <laughs> they die in funny ways in ninja movies. Don't tell mommy. I won't. 
Thank you for your honesty again, Miss Fortune. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm still not so sure if I've been 100% honest. I think I botched the last warrior. round. Yeah, I can hear. <laughs> Exciting. It's going to be a fun day out. And it's officially October, Halloween season. Hey, we got we got an uh, owl up top there, like we saw in the zoo. Like the creepiest place to ever exist. Score. So scary. I wish I had a ticket to ride, though. Really? But hey, what's that falling just in front of you? You're not gonna make us like do any criminal acts this time. It can't be a ticket. Are you sure? It looks like a ticket to me. It can't be. But I'll check it out. Oh, she's very pessimistic about all this. I guess she just doesn't want to get her hopes up. Usually she's quite, like, jovial and bubbly and, like, everything is going great. And all of a sudden she's like, no, no, the, my luck can't be that good. Like, what? Ah. I think that's real. Sweet so spooky. excited. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's weird that this time he just gave us a ticket, whereas at the zoo we had to, like, break in. You're welcome, Miss Fortune. Now... Let's go find a boat to the fox, remember? Mm -hmm. That clown is quite terrifying. I see that this needs a bit of glitter, but I thought she was excited about Phantasmagoria, so I don't really know what she would want to bring sparkles to. It seems like this is exactly what she wanted. It looked like there was a Triforce on that lady's bag. I think it's just an unrelated triangle it's design. Good. Welcome to Phantasmagoria. <laughs> Thank you. What is with the mixture of languages? Like, I don't actually know, but the fox's address address felt Swedish, but I don't actually sp like speak these languages, so I don't actually know. I'm pretty sure we've seen French come up. 100% we've seen Spanish. Uh, there was something else that felt very German. There's like a weird smattering of languages all within this one town, and I don't really know what the deal is with that. It seems like it, we would already be happy about it. I don't know why we needed to, to sprinkle on that one. I'm going to give it another quick toss and, and move along my way. I don't need to see it change back. I'll just have it stay in my memory. Oh, I think hey, I could have interacted from with the, the other balloons. Side, Miss Fortune deserves to have a fun time, so try to make the right choices for her, all right? Is that just like an it reference? Damn, I wish I would have interacted with it. I feel like I won't be able to go backwards hmm. now. I just have one ticket, so I can just ride one and ride. Obviously, I'm hot dog is English. Answer. All right. And frozen? I have no idea what's up with, with that. Hey, you know, once I saw a documentary on TV about hot dogs. And now, I don't want to eat hot dogs. Don't like seeing how the sausage is made? <gasps> Holy shit. Sorry about that. I was just trying to pull your leg. If you do it one more time, I'll just shut my eyes tight and see nothing. That's a good solution. Do a little bit of like, no, 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 I'm not seeing this. That seems like a good solution. He's, is he just trying to reinforce that you dislike Benjamin? Like, this Benjamin's like a dick? Benjamin, but creepier and angrier. Maybe that's the true Benjamin. Now we'll just sprinkle him and make him into, oh, mighty, strong, and handsome Benjamin. That's how we will remember him. No need to dwell on that. Ooh, the carousel could be fun, but I guess we should look around and see what other possible options there are. Maybe that's like the one we're supposed to do. Oh, see the resemblance. Don't say that, Mr. Voice. But, you know, the hat that you chose to wear with the little beret nub isn't really doing the comparison any favors. It reminds me of, like, the Flight of the Concords song, Hurt Feelings. Your friends ever said that you have a weird-shaped head? Ah, it's one of the it's lines. Freshly, my candy is delightful. Ah, yes. Too bad we can't afford any. Yeah, too Just bad. eat out of the trash. Check so, this out. Win-win. Oh. Don't flash that. It's that too long. Go away. Really something, Miss Fortune. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, I know. I'm starting to think that that ride is going to be the only one I can go on. Oh, there's also a haunted house. Balloons. Damn, nothing to interact with there. 
don't you want to use your ticket? Ah, yes, my ticket, of course. I don't know, the carousel seems pretty vanilla. I think if we're going for Phantasmagoria, we want to go for the Goria and the Phantasm oh, side of things. Sweet. That haunted house must be terrifying. Is this the ride you want to spend your ticket on? Get some excitement. The carousel, predictable. You know what's coming. Just a bunch of circles. Yes. All right, then. Have a pleasant ride. Oh, I wonder if we actually get to see it. I'm expecting to, like, chuck sprinkles all over the place, you know? Oh, God. <laughs> Going through the buzz saws is a little creepy. There's, like, the Satan... Satan goat. Lots of zombie hands. These zombies are really bad at what they do, though. They just never manage to breach the surface. <laughs> it is a little spooky. UFO is getting involved. For some reason, the alien is doing the same thing that Satan does. I don't really know what that means, what that, like, represents. Oh, it was a bit of a nauseous ride as well. I don't feel so good. Did she have barf again? I miss it. You think you're going to puke? I don't want to, <laughs> but the ride went too fast. It was fun. All right, good. Take a deep breath and you'll <laughs> soon feel better. I thought for sure she was going to puke. She has been saying how... She's saying how, like, hungry she is and everything, so part of me was thinking, like, uh... I, I guess there's nothing left for her to puke up. It's kind of all out of her system at this point. She must feel so weak. Ugh. Weird ghost friend again. I don't know what to make of that. And it weirds me out. Cut that out. I don't like it. I don't know how to handle that. Ooh, shoot ah, the Benjamins! Games here. Now it's real one. bullets! Oh, of course. You must play one before we leave on the boat. I just love it here, don't you? Who <laughs> doesn't? I want to play a game now. Doesn't really seem like it's living up to your expectations, little misfortune. You were super stoked about it, and now you're kind of like, ooh, I'm woozy. Ah, oh, it's too scary. The Massacre, Whack a Fox. Can I get a balloon? Because my mom balloon. never gave me one. So maybe you can give me one. Well, you know we can't afford any, but look, what's that? A floating balloon. What's this? Is it for me? Yes. Okay, <laughs> thank you. I would tend to not trust plain red balloons after watching and reading the uh, it. Here's my luck. Oh, Novels, movies. I'm sorry about the balloon. Don't worry. Thank you anyway. I kind of set myself up poorly with that sentence, bringing up the movie and the book together, because then I couldn't refer to them as one. The it mediums. It just it was it was gonna be weird no matter what. Hey, there's a straw person inside of this one. Check those sweet rewards: a golden chocolate coin, a cool tiny hat, and a doll. Ah, uh, damn it! I'm Stoneware. We could put a tiny hat on the rock. I'm pretty sure we chucked a rock at the, the our, our rock at the window though, so I won't be able to decorate him and give him a cool hat to wear. But now I really, really wish that I could. Come on, ghost. I'm trying to make you. I'm trying to make you a happy ghost. Ah, oh, the skeleton as well. <laughs> Putting give it a nice tuxedo, looking absolutely grand. Obviously, we gotta go back and play one of those games. It says you need one golden coin to ride the boat. Huh. Okay. So I, I don't know if there's any way for me to get all of those things. I feel like I'm specifically gonna go grab the doll and then, pff, I don't know, steal the boat. Sweet, a fortune teller. Can I try this? It looks like you need a reward ticket. Uh, okay. Well, let's just go try and, and win something then. I'm liking the idea of shooting real bullets. Seems this very appropriate for this young child. It? Oh, it's please free. do play it. Play it as much as you want. Really? All right. I feel well, like Mr. Voice this set this up. Now with real bullets. <laughs> but it still has like the orange cap on the tip of the gun, as if it's <laughs> not real bullets. <laughs> I thought I was actually gonna play. I, I think I broke the game. It looks like it. It even started on fire. Okay, but tickets, please. It's it's gotta like output a few tickets for us, right? No? 
We've just completely busted that one. Check this out. I can get a reward Just let it burn to the win. ground. I'm gonna play this. Please, go ahead. I can't wait to see what it's about. <laughs> what it's about us. <laughs> Are these tiny foxes like Benjamin? They're dangerous foxes. Pretend they all stole your Really reinforcing this over and over. Whack them. Whack them. Very okay. manipulative. Okay, good. The arrows stayed on the screen. Oh, okay. I I, I was trying to use the D-pad. D-pad doesn't work. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna earn all the tickets. Is it just gonna be an equivalent number of tickets to number of things that I hit? Ah, oh, one ticket. Well, that was not a great payout. Play again? Yes, I basically have to keep keep playing. But am I slowly? Am I like warping uh, her mind? What? I felt like I definitely hit the first one. I wonder if the more that I participate in things like this, the greater Mr. Voice's uh, influence is going to be? That he's like legitimately driving home a, a dislike of Benjamin? It's still only one ticket even when you get a 100%. But like, I think the choices still come down to me as to whether or not I react well to Benjamin and like Benjamin and things like that. Uh, but that would be a really interesting mechanic. Oh shit. If the more that you listen to to Mr. Voice in situations like this and participate in his weird little games, if that would cause you to legitimately dislike Benjamin. I like that she apologizes now and again. So maybe she does still have a soft spot for Benjamin and foxes somewhere in that sweet little heart of hers. There was a variety of different things. There was like the three different prizes, I think that cost different amounts, plus the fortune teller. So I might as well just commit and get like a, a bunch of tickets. I won all the tickets. Nine is the max, I suppose? All right, I was gonna go for nine or 10 just to be safe. So I, I'm, I'm guessing that nine must be the most that you need to be able to afford and everything. I guess no one's putting that out. We'll just bo burn the entirety of Phantasmagoria to the ground. That's fine. We're done here. We've already enjoyed it, so there's no need to salvage anything. It's might as well write off the whole attraction. Can I try those? Yes, yes. Uh, as long as she doesn't tell you you're gonna die. It's just that might be what happens. Fortune, Ramirez, Aranandas, and I want to know the future of me. Please, thank you. <laughs> Should have asked about Benjamin, maybe. You or the voice. The beyond, the beyond sees you, and you can be sure it will be coming for you. <gasps> the beyond is coming That's for you. That's probably me? the crazy hellscape <laughs> we saw. Beyond. Want to try again? <sighs> no, I need to make sure I have enough. Enough for everything first. Nah, that was a, that was creepy enough. I'm over it. Please, no more of that. Uh, good. Okay, this stuff is notably cheaper than I expected. I want it. I want it. Reality will transform into what the child desires the most. Hmm. Have we seen reality transforming? really? you say? I mean, we've seen the beyond, if that's what we're going to be calling it. Nothing. But like, I don't think she desires that. That golden chocolate coin looks delicious. I'll take that. Is it actually chocolate, or is it a token for the the boat? You know. And I might as well. We look amazing in this tiny cool hat. Shut up! <laughs> there you go, Stony. You look like a rock star. Rock star. Great. I guess we got him back? Either that or that little cutscene is not programmed to exist or to like alter depending on which rock he's through or whatever. I, I have no way to check my inventory. I guess I just have to assume I took Stony back. Uh, yeah, let's get some more out of this perhaps. Yes, again. Are you just gonna repeat? What you see in the beyond is not what you see, but what you don't see. Oh, really? Oh. Talk about crazy. <laughs> want to try she has to so many better. similar reactions to things. I guess we got to read between the lines okay, in those weird again. moments. 
I guess. You are being lied to at this very moment. By you? Trust me, Mimi. Don't trust anything. Oh, really? Who is lying to me? Is Benjamin? Benjamin, lying to me? right, Mr. Voice? What? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> that was kind of oh, insane. No. Too bad. Yes, poor little birdie. Maybe it was flying drunk. <laughs> you know, like my mommy did once and crushed daddy's oh, car. No. Like this little birdie crushed with its body, you know? Yes, I get it, Miss Fortune. It's still sad. Perfect it analogy. Crushed. That is sad and messed up. Is that is that the sort of thing that you can shadan away? Hmm. Apparently we're okay with it. We just uh, accept that. So Mr. Voice is 100% responsible for all of the dead crows, right? Because he clearly did that. I don't know why he was simultaneously encouraging us to hear our fortune. And as soon as the fortune teller was like, yo, pay attention, you're being lied to, that he was like, uh, shut up right now. That's enough of that. I, I mix messages is, is what I'm saying. <laughs> so I, I don't really know what to make of that. There's a lot to unpack still. Okay. Crossing the river sticks, are we? But on like a hell, hell swan? I'm guessing this is like an animatronic or something, but it is weird because we've seen a very grim like figure early on in the game in like a, in, like, a cutscene. It's like a black swan. How cool is that? Really, really cool. Tell me about it. Anyway, this boat will take you where you need to go. You mean to Benjamin's house? Yes. And it's just one golden coin. I got the sweet chocolate coin reward. But where is, is he actually good? leading I us? Don't think that would. Perfect. No, see, it's fun. Accept it. Oh, look at that. Well, are you ready to leave? Such a such a a universal form of currency. I think I've explored Phantasmagoria quite fully. I think it's. This is going to be so cool. The only thing I could have sti stuck around and did. Virus, <laughs> or the Kraken. What's a Kraken? Well, I would say see, Kraken you know. to each their but own. Tell me, I'm curious now. We don't have time for that, Miss Fortune. Just forget it. Ugh, but now I'll think about it forever. <laughs> <laughs> I love her infinite vision of things. Yikes forever. I'm going to think about that forever. Ah, she gets Kraken. really hung up on things. If you appear in front of me, I will see you. And if I see you, I will know it is you. See, Kraken, come up in front of me right now. Someone give this girl a, an album oh, deal. What's a freaking Kraken? <laughs> uh, this place is very quiet. It's I love that she still doesn't know what it is. There are so many birds Anyways, in the background. I was thinking, is the Kraken available for petting? You know, like uh, some pet doggies, some pet kitties. I want to pet the Kraken, if it's possible. Well, I heard you could lure it out with fish. With fish, you said? This is the well, second time I'm a need for fish, fish has come up. I guess I won't be petting the Kraken. Hey! Did I just slap Was you in the, the, fish from the in bridge? the face? <laughs> I think he's happy because I saved him. Or maybe him. she just got you startled. <laughs> I saved him from the bridge. Remember? remember? Yes, I remember. Did you see the kiss he gave me? Oh, okay, he did <laughs> jump up at you. Because he was in love with me. Because I saved him. <laughs> Such a heroic, Somebody desirable catch hey, there, Miss Fortune. Are you taking me now to the house of Benjamin? You know, that blue-eyed, soft, fluffy fox who happens to be a great artist and stole my happiness? She can't sort out her feelings. Clearly I still loves Benjamin. And why is that you collect coins? <laughs> That's how you pay for your rent and food, right? <laughs> Miss Fortune, just leave him alone. No, he wants to hear. Anyway, I don't I think like I can pause. I know no, I'll have to keep it in mind. I have a Japanese ghost friend. By the way, can you speak Japanese? I need some That's yet another language. Do you know what this means? Kiribado kudasuka. So you don't know, huh? I you thought know, it might actually I've respond. I've been outside this lake by myself. Do you 
you go outside by yourself this late every day, are you going to eat my chocolate coin? Because I'm a bit hungry. Oh my god, is he gonna jump off the boat? Talking. Ah, why should I stop talking? Nobody else is talking. <laughs> hey, mysterious, where are you going? This, this thing is like real. And was he just oh, like, no. I can't listen to another Hello? goddamn minute of this. That's what happens when little ladies ask too many questions. It makes people want to drown themselves. Ah, stop it. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Doesn't have any lungs. Look, we have arrived. But yeah, there's like the whole thing of why people put like the two coins on the eyes of the dead is so that they can pay for their passage across the river Styx or something like that. I might accidentally be crisscrossing multiple myth mythoses with that. But I think that's the whole idea with paying the boatman. I might be talking out of my ass there. I think it was an adorable form of rambling. I have been around children who like cannot stop rambling. And it's almost funny to follow their train of thought like that when it's not like, when it's not just why, but why, but why? Because <laughs> kids get stuck in loops like that. If you don't have to participate, if you can just sit there and watch their gears turn and like spin out weird concepts and views of the world or whatever, it's kind of entertaining. So I thought that was kind of funny just watching her go bananas there. Hmm. Oh, that's totally a He-Man doll. I mean, he's a little busted up looking, but that's, uh, it's gotta be the case. We got some sweet dinosaurs, cool water gun, bunny, robot, uh, teddy bear, like a little rocket ship or something like that. For some reason, like a hatchet, a yo-yo. The hatchet weirds me out. I don't know what to make of that. But is this like the island of the lost children, perhaps? These are all their Check toys. That out. It's the toy graveyard, I'm telling you. Whatever you say, Miss Fortune. I... me, I guess we're okay Mr. with it as is. It's getting really dark. Mr. Voice, are you there? Hello? There's something wrong She's still here. mad at something us for talking so much. Wrong. What's wrong, Mr. Voice? What do you mean? It's coming. Hide. Hide. I don't know what you're playing. But if you scare me, I'll close my eyes. <laughs> she said, she told you that's what she was going to do. I, okay, there's Hero again. What is happening? Because Mr. Voice knows what we're going to die. Uh, he's like killing crows all over the place. I think, I think a bunch of this is him. He like showed us that he could crumple that lamppost. He's clearly got powers. He's clearly evil in my eyes. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But like why simultaneously does it seem like he tries to help us? Go listen to your fortune. Go hide. Something's coming. Unless he's hiding, he's telling us to hide from something that would otherwise be helpful. He knows something's coming that would rescue us. So he's like, get away from that. I'm, listen to me. I'm, I'm the adult here. I know what's best sort of thing. Oh, I thought that was me hiding. <laughs> I was waiting for something, a cutscene to play out after that. <laughs> Check this out, Stony. This is your family, is <laughs> From the woods. Big Say mama, hello. papa, and your little sis over bye there. Bye, baby Stoney, because we're leaving. I wish he still had his little hat on. Uh, oh, damn it. Just so clumsy. Oh, Jesus. Uh, there's like skeletons and demons and stuff around. It's oh. Mr. Voice, can you see? Can you see it? No, I don't think Mr. Voice ever see. Oh, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> I don't think Mr. Voice ever sees the things from like this side or whatever, but he clearly is somewhat aware of it because he's the one who told us something was coming. Is it the fox? Definitely not the fox. Sure, it was the fox. No, it's you gotta get off that, man. Again. Benjamin's fine. You Benjamin's don't cool. Know what you're talking about? Yes, I do. I saw it. Oh, hey. Cool staff. Don't make any sudden moves. So he's videotaping for some reason. Get up, Benjamin, man. I want your help. Is he just gonna run from me like all the other animals do, though? Uh, you're, blushing. you're blushing. So soft. Don't touch her with your filthy paws, you beast. Can Benjamin Stop hear Mr. It. Voice? You're scaring him away. I don't think he can. He didn't seem to react to that at all. Uh, Only Benjamin. 
yeah, I'm try I'm trying to pull Misfortune back into the side of being a fan of Benjamin. I don't want her love of this Please, adorable Miss fox Fortune, being corrupted. Stop and listen to me. There's something I need to tell you. If you keep running, you'll end up badly hurt, and I don't want that. You're too important. But I want to find Benjamin. He was nice what to me. What weird that ritual does he have planned? Dangerous. Stop running, please. <sighs> Keep running. Ah, we are going to end up hurt, though, aren't we? Because Mr. Voice clearly has some, like, foresight. Oh. <laughs> What's this? Really? You don't remember me saying if you keep running, you'll end up hurt. Uh -huh. I know I could have been more specific, like there's a bear trap up ahead. Stop or you will be hurt. But I felt like getting straight to the point. Okay, okay, thank you. Who left the bear trap here anyway? I haven't seen any bears. I feel like well, he's keeping I us alive for like a sacrifice. Fingers, but it was obviously the fox. Also, I don't <laughs> like You've made that abundantly clear. Foxophobia. Is that true? Yes, I swear. Now, let's focus on the eternal happiness again. <laughs> All right. It's clearly quite late in the day, like dusk, moon's out and all that. And I think he said little misfortune, I guess that's the game, her name is just misfortune, would die by the end of the day? We're clearly very close to the end of the day at this point. Oh, it's just a guy with happy teeth. Not sharp, deadly, anything like that. Um, I, I... Oh, shit. I thought Mr. Voice was going to interrupt me. I so, hope I can go Ms. back. Fortune, I have Damn it. a couple of questions for you. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wonderful. Shit. Now, just be honest and think about it before answering. First question. Do I totally cut myself off there. Magic. The game has so diligently warned me in the past of like, are you sure you want to go to the next area? That I thought that would come up again. I literally just exited the game because I didn't want to miss this. Like, I clearly this saved the stone like for the this. That didn't look like the other ones. You see? Yes. So you know. Yes. <laughs> so you know. Uh, I guess, yeah, it fits. It's fine. It's stuck. Huh. Oh, you can't it's get it stuck. back? Huh. Okay, what does it the say, though? The elimination of Prime Eve will dissolve the filth of the beyond. Oh, really? Interesting. Not at all certain what that means. There is a lot of cryptic things between the stones, the fortune teller, the, like, wicker dolls. And I have not made heads or tails of any of it. <laughs> oh, speaking of wicker dolls, how the hell did I miss this? Oh, maybe it only came up after doing the stone. The games you enjoy, you can have them all. The games you enjoy, you can have them all. Oh, nice. That does sound positive. Not are you doing? all sure what Nothing. that means. I'm, I do like that I seem to have one up on Mr. Voice. There's like very specific things that he's not a part of that he can't see. And that makes me feel like I have some of my own autonomy, you know? But I, I, I don't know what to make of it. All right, now that I've kind of reset things and I know that the literal next step is another like round of questions from him. Uh, I also lost track of this episode length because doing like the whack-a-mole and stuff like that. So it's probably as uh, good a time as any to... to round things off for now as soon as you come back we'll just walk into the other area and do the rounds of questions yeah that seems good thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you again soon